Good morning, everyone. I just realized that I haven't vlogged in like a super long time. So I'm gonna vlog my day today. Nothing too exciting, but I just woke up and I've been posting this on my Snapchat and stuff, but this has been like my go-to breakfast lately. An RX bar and this is flavors chocolate chip. And I love chocolate chip and I love the chocolate sea salt and the chocolate coconut. So anything with chocolate. But I'm not a huge fan of like the blueberry or anything like that. They're not bad. I just prefer the chocolate ones. I just like them better. And then with this as well. So this is technically like a meal. It's supposed to be like a meal replacement. But I also have a bar because this is only 250 calories. So this is like 30 carbs and 16 grams of protein. I would say this has 12 grams of protein. Yeah. And 22 carbs. So that's basically been my breakfast every day because I'm just not feeling eggs and I'm too lazy to cook sometimes. So that's that. But I'm gonna be doing legs today. So I'm gonna film the whole stinking thing for you guys. And I hope you like it because I was in bed last night planning it and it's gonna be a tough one. So. So after I eat these, I'm gonna go get dressed and I am feeling like braiding my hair today, so I'm going to braid my hair for the first time in so long and then go to the gym. is done and I'm so happy and I sweat a lot and it was really good and I just feel very accomplished so now I'm gonna go home and think about what I'm gonna eat either some chicken pasta or some like mini pizzas we'll see but I'll show you what I eat John was in Chicago for the weekend for a bachelor party and I think he's on his way home so he should be home soon but this isn't a super exciting Sunday. I just wanted to get some footage and film a workout for you guys because I have been MIA and I apologize. But life gets busy sometimes and it's summer and I'm trying to enjoy, you know what I mean? Family and friends and stuff like that. So I'm working hard guys, I promise. But between my app and YouTube and my tournament, I stay busy. So, I had to turn the air off so I could record this. And now I'm sweating. So, I'm going to stop recording and I'll talk to you guys when I get home. So, I totally forgot a new episode of Game of Thrones is on tonight. And I'm so excited. 
I started from season one last night with Haley because I want her to get into it. And now I've been watching season one over and there's a lot of stuff that I missed. Anyways, super excited for that. So I ended up stopping by the grocery store before I came home just because Whole Foods is on the east side of town. So it's kind of like by the gym and convenient. So I just stopped there before I came home and got a whole bunch of shiz. And one of the handles broke while I was trying to open the door. This is literally the worst apartment complex to like bring groceries in. You have to take the groceries from the car to the first door, open the first door where my bag is, or my hands are full of four bags, open the first door, scan my thing, then open the second door, and then hit the elevator button, scan my thing to get up to the floor, and then go up and then unlock my door. It is literally a fucking hassle. But I will show you guys, I'm gonna start unloading all this and heating up some lunch. I still don't know what I'm gonna have. Probably chicken pasta, that's probably what I'm gonna go with. Usually John and I would go to the store about like th two or three times a week, but now that we live further from Whole Foods, we like to go like do one big haul and get like everything we need. So that's what we've been doing. And I'll show you my, my weekly grocery haul for two of us. One who is rather large. Got spinach for salad. I usually do salads with like spinach, dried cherries, um, pecans, strawberries, chicken, goat cheese, and balsamic vinaigrette, which I also got more of. So I'll show you those. Bananas for smoothies. We are making, John doesn't know this yet, but we're making steak and scallops and sweet potatoes and asparagus for dinner. I haven't had scallops in so long, I will love that. Tortillas, because I want to make breakfast burritos this week. See if it actually happens, but I hope it will. <laughs> and then for John salads, he does grape tomatoes, cucumber, and green peppers. Like a chopped salad, and then he throws in some chicken and balsamic vinaigrette. Or he uses apple cider vinegar. I'm not a huge fan of that as dressing, but... Sweet potatoes for dinner. Bread for John's sandwiches and PBJs, or if I want a PBJ, whatever. Uh, sourdough. Sorry, the rule's not very clear. Sourdough, and then these. This is like the dough slash bread slash crust that I use for mini pizzas. It's called one bun. One bag. Jack's special. Special. Jack's special salsa, mild and medium. This is just for like chips and salsa or for my breakfast burritos or just like eggs in general. More Orgain drinks. I got two chocolate boxes and then I got one mocha or iced mocha box. So I'm interested to see how that one is. Frozen fruit for smoothies. Got wild blueberries and raspberries, more blueberries, and mango. I swear there was another raspberry, but I haven't come across it yet. Bag number two. Go. For a quick dinner or lunch, got organic chicken strips, and they're frozen, and then I get like frozen fries that I We'll show you as well that I eat with these. Strawberries, can't really see them. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk for smoothies. This is the already cooked organic chicken strips that I get for my mini pizzas. So I usually do like the one bun and then I'll do a slice of mozzarella cheese. So right here, a slice of mozzarella cheese either marinara or barbecue sauce, and then I'll put three ounces of chicken, um, well, one and a half ounces of chicken on each little bun. And asparagus for dinner. Bag number three done. Raspberries to snack. Mushrooms for my breakfast burritos and the eggs. 
blueberries, orange juice, Halo Top. These are probably my two favorite flavors. See, red velvet and chocolate chip cookie dough. And I also love the mocha chocolate chip. Those are my three favorites. And I'm not a huge fan of the oatmeal cookie just because I don't, I thought like the oatmeal would be cooked or something. I don't know, it's just like raw oats and ice cream. That's not really like the type of thing I'm looking for, you know what I mean? Also, these blueberries are grown in Michigan, focus, in West Olive, Michigan, which is by like Holland and Ukraine. <gasps> Who is home? Bad number four done. Can you help? I'm recording the grocery haul. You wanna get in here? No. You wanna shake your butt and get in here? <sighs> I would like to shake my butt, but me too. Tired? One of the handles broke on my way up, so that was fun. What? Yeah. I got bunions. Bunions? Yeah. Like, like that 70,000. I know, I didn't realize that. Yeah, now we have, like, now we have 100,000. What? Bunion soup. I wanted to use them for eggs and, like, breakfast burritos. Also, guess what we're having for dinner? What? Steak and scallops and sweet potatoes and asparagus. Yeah. There's a steak that's prep right now. Okay. Um, I haven't gotten that far. I'll get there in a second. But can you, you put these up there? Thanks. Man, I need a shake bag. There's a lot. There's stuff. Oh. I got a lot of for Lemons. Or yeah, lemon nice. water. And drinks. And poop. Chocolate milk. I know what I've done. Sweet potato chips and sweet plantain chips. A snack on Tate's cookies. Focus. They're so good. I have protein pancake mix as well. What? Didn't buy this today, but this is our favorite kind of protein <laughs> waffle or pancake. You like this one. I'll do it. Yes. <laughs> This isn't the one I did last time. Oh, yeah, this that, is the good oh, one. God, that one was terrible. Yeah, that one was bad. I can't remember what that was. I think it's up there. Uh, don't show that brand. Don't worry. Oh, well, I wasn't going to say it's good. I was going to say it's bad. Dry cherries for salad. Chicken maple sausage for breakfast burritos. Usually in the frozen section, but I'm going to put it in the fridge so it thaws. Genius. I know. Iced Cafe Mocha Orgain, chocolate Orgain, a plate. White. <laughs> white cheddar popcorn, que pasa tortilla chips, a quarter, <laughs> waffle cut fries, way to mix it up, yeah I have to, you know, yeah. steak, I got three just so we can have leftovers, otherwise, yeah, good choice, chicken, Oh no. And then I got what? I got three ribeye steaks. Balsamic vinaigrette. Three? Best balsamic I've ever had. So if you have Whole Foods, it's the 365 brand. Oh, Glare's throwing it off. And that was the last bag. So that's the grocery haul. Thanks for tuning in. Protein chicken pasta for lunch. With marinara. And this is the pasta I used. 25 grams per serving. What's up guys? It is now Monday morning and I just got back from the gym. I completely forgot to bring my camera, but it's fine. So basically just wanted to sit down for a second and chat with you guys about targeting fat whether it be love handles or your thighs or your stomach your belly it is not possible to target fat to like burn fat in a specific area and i just want to make that clear because the title of this video may have made you think 
and it is possible, and it is not. So, stop trying to target areas. The only thing that will help you lose fat is eating in a deficit, so lessen your burning. I'm not saying cut out carbs completely. I'm not saying stop eating, because that's not healthy either. But you just have to kind of listen to your body and stop eating when it's full, eat more slowly, eat more protein, less high carb foods, high fat foods. Whenever you're doing abs five times a week because you think doing abs targets belly fat, you're wasting your time and your energy because it doesn't. And training abs five times a week is not good, by the way. Any body part five times a week is not um, a smart idea because we need to let the muscles rest. So stop trying to target areas. It is not possible to burn fat that way. So my best advice to drop love handle fat, belly fat, thigh fat, arm fat, anything, literally fat anywhere, is you have to eat well. Up your protein, limit your carbs a little more. You still need them, don't cut them up completely. Do your cardio, do your weightlifting. Weightlifting burns way more calories um, than just cardio. So I suggest if you don't do, if you don't lift or do any resistance training already, I suggest throwing some of that in there. I hope this helped a little bit, clear up some misconceptions about weight loss. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.